I've been a little MIA from YouTube, and that's because I myself have been applying to data jobs. I finally got a new job that I'm happy with. Are you currently beginning the interview process for data analyst positions? I'll walk through the typical stages of a data analyst interview and how you can also pass each step. The first stage is the recruiter call. They'll make sure that you care about the company and the mission. The initial stage is not just a formality. It's a way for the company to gauge your genuine interest about the role. Here, you'll need to understand the company and the role from your research, from looking at the job description and the company website to see what value you can add. Have your elevator pitch ready, which includes your current experience, any past relevant experience, why you're interested in the company, and how it aligns with your career goals. They will ask you questions like, tell me about yourself. What brought you to apply to the company and position? They'll also ask you what tools you're using to see if it aligns with their tool stack. Make sure that you're not the first to give a number. Instead, ask for a salary band that they can share with you and see if that aligns with what you're looking for. Next up is the meeting with the hiring manager. Say your elevator pitch and make sure that your job experience that you're sharing aligns with the job description. Expect tool-oriented questions like, tell me about a recent project. Mention the tools that you use like R or Python. You'll also receive behavioral questions like, how do you manage working with stakeholders? The start method comes in handy. Set up the context and share the actions you took. And finally, the outcomes where you improved the business. Finally, there'll be time to ask questions. Show your genuine interest and always be prepared with thoughtful questions. Typical questions I like to ask are, what is the team setup? And who are the stakeholders I'd be working with? This is important because you likely won't meet everyone in the interview process that you'll be working with. Another great question to ask the hiring manager is, what is the strength that is valuable to this role that may not have been mentioned yet? You can respond with a quick example of how you embody this strength. Remember that you'll want to be interviewing the company as much as they're interviewing you. A new job is a crucial decision. You'll want to envision yourself working there, that you can see yourself working among the team, and that it aligns with your career goals. After you pass the interview with the hiring manager, you'll have a take-home programming assignment or schedule an in-person coding interview to test your skills. Take-homes generally use SQL CoderPad, or you'll have a case study that you can use Python or R to answer questions. Here, you'll want to showcase problem-solving skills, logical thinking, and for the case study, storytelling with data. You will generally have some time in the next interview to debrief on your take-home assignment and present your findings. For in-person coding, you'll want to speak out loud explain each function, and describe the next logical step. The interviewer will generally help you if you're stuck, so try to remain calm if you're not sure what's next. You can even ask if you can look up a function, but try to explain what you're looking for. They want to see that you're a logical step-by-step -step thinker, as that's what data analysts do when coding. During the debrief of your in-person coding session, explain your methodology and address any biases in your answers. Great, so you passed the coding challenge. Next, you'll speak with the team members. It's generally three 30-minute sessions with different people. It can be a mix of people with the same role, people you might be working closely with, and stakeholders. They will cover the following topics. Work and internship experience, experience with programming languages, project management, communicating and presenting findings, and talking with stakeholders. Typical questions include, how do you approach a business problem that a stakeholder gives you? You have competing deadlines. How do you handle this with stakeholders? In these interviews, it gives you a chance to learn more about the day-to-day -day of what you would do and paints a picture of who you would be working with. It's key to ask yourself if you communicate with these folks well. Some interviews involve talking with higher level executives. Demonstrate your ability to bridge the gap between detailed data work and the broader company vision. This is where you'll be tested to communicate effectively with someone who may not be as well-versed in the intricacies of data analysis. Sometimes you'll be asked to present your take-home assignment. Don't just answer the questions. Create a story around the data that you're presenting. People don't just want numbers thrown at them, but instead they want practical takeaways. Remember to have a limitation slide and include any edge cases that your analyses may not have covered. Focus your time on the data visualizations and make sure that they can act as standalones, meaning that you have labels and interpretations on the slides. In this whirlwind of interviews, make sure that the company aligns with your career goals. So ask questions, clarify doubts, and make sure you understand the team dynamic and what you will do day to day. The process may seem lengthy, but it should paint a vivid picture of your next workplace.
Before we wrap up, here's the final tip. Use ChatGBT to help you prepare for interviews. It's a fantastic tool for simulating interview questions, helping you to refine your responses. Remember that with each interview, you're gaining more practice. And with the right preparation, you can confidently navigate the interview process.